Rabotai, continuing with some of the halachot of kashering vessels for Pesach, um, many times, let's say, a person has plates or bowls uh, that are used with hat chametz throughout the year. Um, let's assume for a moment that they're made out of metal. The halacha over there is that all you need to do, you don't need hagala on that, since you don't cook with them, you only pour boiling chametz into them. So over there, all you would need is to pour boiling water from a kli rishon, which we call airui, uh, let's say from an electric tea kettle or whatever it is, you pour it into that, and then it's kashel le Pesach. But, like we said, um, metal bowls and plates are a little bit hard to find. Most of them are not, are not that way. Uh, for instance, plastic. If it was plastic, you kasher it the same way. There's machloket whether or not uh, plastic is kasherable. Ledat maran zechonon lebenachan chazov It is, you can kasher plastic in the same method in which it's used. However, most of the time, Bowls and plates are made out of porcelain, china, other kinds of pottery. La Lacha, the Radbaz, and all the other G'dolei Poskim say that even if it's not just clay, even if it's clay with a thin glaze, a little bit, a thin layer of glass on it, it's still considered non kasherable Lefi Lacha. It will remain chametz even if you do that a bunch of times. Therefore, those plates and bowls and china and stuff that you have for chametz that has to be put away for Pesach with the chametz dishes. Now, uh, there, are, there are dishes that are made out of korel. Korel is made as a kind of glass. Ledat sfaradim, most sfaradim hold that glass doesn't need to be kashered for Pesach. All you need to do is wash it out with soap and water very well, and it's usable as is, and it doesn't matter if it's clear glass, colored glass, lalacha, it's usable as is, as long as you just wash it out very well. Ashkenazim, like we said last week, are a little bit more machmir. With regards to the refrigerator in the kitchen, the refrigerator doesn't need to be kashered per se, but it needs to be cleaned out very well. You need to take out the racks, you need to take everything out, you need to take out all the compartments, all the racks, because you'd be surprised how much uh, you know, residue and gunk and crumbs can get stuck in there. You have to wash it down very well, at which point some people have the minhag, they put all sorts of, uh, on top of the racks, they put like plastic uh, covers or plastic sheets, that's a chumrah. That's not really necessary according to Allah. It's a nice thing, but you still have to take it apart and clean it so that you don't have any hamits, uh, cross-contamination on Pesach. Have a wonderful day.